This is not a shooting video. This is a video just to show two rifles from Savage. These are uh, uh, <clears throat> two different types of uh, calibers and two different types of um, rifles that Savage has. Um, so the first one is the 6.5 Creedmoor. It's, um, I think it's called the XP, Savage XP. And it doesn't have uh, an adjustable trigger that, uh, in there. So it's just, um, it's what you get, you know. It's a pretty nice little trigger. And here's the magazine right here. So, um, these are pretty nice. You can get these for about um, 32 35 $40. And then this one up here is the 223 uh, Savage 2. Savage Axis 2. And this one has the Accutrigger right here. So that's adjustable. And here is the magazine for this one. So you can see they're similar but different. Um, I think the 22 250 and the 223 are the same magazine for um, Savage. Okay. Um, so you can see they're, they're about the same length, the magazine, but um, this is much wider right here for the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. And then um, the um, Savage uh, Axis two that comes in 223 and camouflage it does not come with the scope whereas the uh, axis xp does come with the scope um, i think it's a three by nine by 40 i think or three by nine by 32 it looks like a three by nine by 40 <clears throat> and they both have 22 inch barrels you know the same size barrel uh, if you didn't look at inside the magazine or um, look at the rifle to see what caliber it was in, you virtually couldn't tell the difference. At least I can't. Um, but um, the uh, ammunition cost is, is a big difference in the 6.5 compared to the 223. Um, so here's some ammunition I pulled out. Here's a 22, just to show you in comparison, 22 long rifle, 40 grain. All right, this is a, a 50 grain, 223, and a 55 grain, 223. Um, so the 50 grain is a jacketed hollow point, and the 55 grain is a full metal jacket. And this right here is the 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, <clears throat> the um, 223, they're, they're supposed to be pretty good for, you know, maybe like up around 500 yards and stuff. Some people are really good shots and maybe take them further. The Creedmoor is like a 1, thousand, 1200 yards, you know, uh, a long range uh, shooting bullet, uh, cartridge bullet. Um, uh, as far as the cost goes, um, these right here, there's 50 bullets, and you can get these for like $15. Uh, that runs about 30 cents a round. The American Eagles, they run about $32, and that's, um, excuse me, that's uh, uh, $16, and that's about 32 cents a round. All right, and these right here, these are $18 for 20 so that's 90 cents around, but um, on some places like um, online, you can get them for um, other brands for the of uh, cartridges, uh, uh, ammunition for um, like $12 on up, like on Target Sports and places like that. Um, you know, like clearance prices and things. Uh, but this is really good ammunition right here. And on um, this kind, there's it comes in three different types of ammunition. And this is the far one to the left. 
um, in the picture. And um, that's a pointed soft point pellet. And it's supposed to be really good. This is just for target practice for me in California because um, it's lead ammunition. Uh, in other states like Texas and stuff, I can use this for like pig hunting. I was going to show you some of the, the ballistics uh, from the box or the manufacturer. Um, the 223 American Eagle, the, the um, 50 grain at the muzzle. There's uh, stated th uh, 3,325 feet per second uh, with a little over 1,200 foot-pounds of energy. And at 400 yards, it's down to below half um, half of the feet per second at 1,653 and one-fourth of the energy approximately. Uh, so it's... Um, a little over 300 foot-pounds of energy at 400 yards. So it loses one-fourth the power uh, for the 50 grain. So the uh, 223 Aguila full metal jacket, 55 grains. They're, they're um, uh, 3,250 feet per second at the muzzle, and uh, they're 1,290 feet per second, foot-pounds of energy. Uh, just a little bit more in foot pounds. So my guess is they're going to be a little bit more um, foot pounds at 400 yards than the Eagles. But again, those are full metal jackets, you know, just like for target shooting. Now the Creedmoor. Um, this is like a long distance gun. Um, it's got a lot of good power. These are 140 grain uh, bullets and cartridges. And <clears throat> there were some other ones that were down there, like for like 129 grain. <coughs> Excuse me. But I wanted these. At the muzzle, it's 2,700 uh, feet per second with uh, 2,267 uh, foot pounds of energy. So it's got a slower velocity than the uh, 223s but a lot more energy because it's a heavier bullet. At 400 yards, it's only lost about half, it's less, a little less than half of its uh, feet per second. At 400 yards, it's 1896 feet per second, and the foot-pounds of energy is only half uh, what, uh, what it was uh, at the muzzle. So that's 1,118. So the Creedmoor loses less energy in distance than the 223 uh, bullets do. Uh, so it's a flatter trajectory, uh, retains its uh, velocity better. And there's a lot of factors that go into that, which I won't discuss. Um, I know what they are, but I just wanted to share this information. Um, so it's the Axis XP without the adjustable trigger and the axis too, with the accurate trigger, which is adjustable. And um, you can get, um, you know, variations of calibers uh, for these rifles, whichever ones you choose. I wanted the 223, um, and that's why I got that one. Uh, I have a 223 single shot uh, CVA, but this one here is a, a multi-shot. And then I can also buy like a 10 shot uh, magazine on uh, places like eBay for about $65 for the 223. I haven't checked into that for the, um, for the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, normally I just take one shot when I'm out hunting. I don't do multiple shots. Uh, that's why I have mostly single shot rifles. But uh, they both weigh about seven pounds um, and they both feel about the same when I pick them up, very similar. So if my eyes were closed, um, the only way I could tell the difference is with the triggers, you know, the AccuTrigger compared to the regular trigger. And that's it.